Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Business Growth Made Easy podcast. I am your host, Maria Fontana, your favorite business consultant, helping high-level, high-performance salon professionals scale their businesses by creating more profits with less stress. That's a, hand, a mouthful, right? And today I have my amazing longtime friend, colleague, and industry icon, Bonnie Bonadeo as a guest. Hi, Bonnie. Thanks for joining me. Oh, thank you so much, Maria, for having you on. I'm glad to be here. Oh, I'm honored to have you. So today we're going to share, you know, everyone listening, if it's on the podcast, if you're following us on YouTube, wherever it may be that you are engaging and connecting with us because you really want to scale and grow your practices. I want to um, introduce you to Bonnie. She's going to tell you a little bit about herself, her strengths, and what she's here to share with the world to help us all in this amazing industry we're in get to that next level. So Bonnie, go ahead. Tell them, tell everyone a little bit about yourself and your magic. I will do. So this is, I'm actually celebrating 40 years as a licensed cosmetologist this Woo! year. Um, but you know, I, I worked behind the chair for like the initial three or four years. Then I went into the business side of the business because I realized my hands were not doing what my mind was intending to do. Right. So that, that slight artistic ability, I, I lacked confidence in. But because I lacked confidence in it, I, one of the things that I saw missing in our industry was education. So yeah. I immediately went into the education and business side of our industry and have spent most of my years in that. Um, currently, um, I have my own businesses. So I have two different ones, a coaching business called SOS uh, Salon Coaching. And then I also have a, a boutique agency called Brand Me Agency, Love where that. I help people with digital marketing. But what I really probably enjoy doing most is being the marketing director for my fiance's salon intrigue in, um, in Georgia here. And uh, so I get to put a lot of what I tell my clients to do to the test. Right. If the it works, if it doesn't put. work. So they're kind of my beta ground, but um, I have a lot of fun working in that environment. I have a lot of fun testing out some great marketing ideas um, to help us all grow our businesses. Because right now what we know is it's not easy growing a business today. It's not easy, especially in our industry. We've been impacted negatively globally, some parts of the yeah. global more than others. So Bonnie, if I was, you know, what are two top things? Cause I see you in all the years I know you and I know you a long time. I see you as the branding and connections guru, the marketing and branding. Like you just have a gift. You're the queen of, of that for, for, you know, high performance salon professionals. And when I mean high performance, I mean, Salon professionals who want to really raise that bar and be the surgeon, the specialist in this industry, not just the, you know, I'm just the hairdresser. That, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about elevating your standards, your professionalism. So if there's two things, maybe you're the top two tips you could share with the audience, what would it be in transitioning and really focusing on their marketing and their branding now, today? Uh, you know, it, that's, a, that's such a great question. And I, I look at it from this angle here. I want you to, there's a point where we have to be in the consumer mindset. And then there's a point where we need to trans over, transfer over to the entrepreneurial mindset. Mm -hmm. If you understand how you as a consumer find things, if your clients aren't able to duplicate those same efforts to find you, then you're not in the digital marketing. Now, we're an in real life business, so I call it an IRL, in real life. In other words, you can't get a haircut unless somebody comes in and literally sits in your chair to get that haircut. Mm -hmm. But how they find us is through a URL approach in business, so a digital landscape. Right. And, I, and, I, and I think the biggest area and opportunity that we can do to grow our business from this point on, and I've been screaming this probably since 2017 and nobody listened to me. It was well, like, I, I mean, it was like, no, nobody was listening to me. And I'm telling you, when we got shut down and we had to start back up again, people realized it wasn't the same business that we were starting back up. It yeah. was a futuristic approach to doing business now. And it meant we needed to be more digitally savvy. We had to have better records for our clients. We had to have better communication skills. We had to communicate more thoroughly to them when we're open, when we are closed, what our COVID policies were. And it really forced a lot of people to say, I'm not prepared to be in this digital world right now. So 
two major problems that we're dealing with in our industry right now, lack of clients or lack of, of stylists. Mm-hmm. And yeah. both of those, you have to do the same, it's the same skill set in marketing to gain them both. But I ask the questions to, you know, my clients like this, do you have an empty chair or do you have a client demand? Mm-hmm. Because if you just have an empty chair, you may not be able to afford bringing another stylist on. Correct. But if you have a client demand, then you have to then find the stylist and develop them. And how you do that is all going to be digital marketing. So I, I, I'm, I'm, like a, I'm like a geek in it from that perspective. I love the creative side of marketing. And the truth is there's so many free or very inexpensive options for us to be fantastic at it. However, you've got to devote a little bit of time to it in order to master it. So if I was to say to you, Bonnie, what's the one, like one really golden nugget, a free takeaway that the audience, once they turn off this podcast or this video, they can implement it today. It's free. They can just start accessing. They don't need to be tech moguls. And if they're, if they aren't tech moguls, maybe we could suggest to them how they can get some help. One thing that they can do that can be a game changer. Add words to your images. Images create an opportunity to visually stimulate, but images don't sell. So all these images that you're doing on Instagram or these little miscellaneous things that you're doing on other social media platforms, when you're not adding words to solve a problem for a client, you're not selling them to take action. So if you've got a beautiful head of hair that you just transformed, maybe it's a before and after then you have to be able to say this client was struggling with, with, with having regrowth and growth and not being able to have the time to come in because she's now homeschooling her kids. That speaks to people. And they're like, that's me. I can't keep up on my regrowth. Maybe being this blonde is not an option for me anymore. What right. is the solution? Right. So when you can sell a problem with words attached to a picture, mm-hmm. people take action. Now, do you agree with me on this? I'm a big fan of um, keywords behind the pictures. People always forget that too. To me, that's low maintenance hair, you yeah. know, mom friendly hairstyles. And I know it sounds so crazy and simple, but it's something people forget to do when they're posting everywhere, even on their website, right? I mean, depending, you know, who's doing it. So, you know, what do you recommend for someone who may be like tech challenged or they're just afraid or they're like, I don't even know, I have someone doing my website. What would you recommend that they ask these people to do? Because it's not their expertise and a lot of salon owners don't do it. They, They just, you know, assume that the person taking care of their social media or their websites doing the right thing. So what's the one key thing that they should be, you know, as a CEO really asking for, making sure they get? Yeah. Be, you know, listen, nobody knows your brand and your business better than you do. So we can hire all the experts like me or you to be able to help them with this marketing support. But the truth is every day that you're with a client, you are creating the most amazing content in those conversations. Mm -hmm. It's now just taking notes and reminding yourself of it. So when the client comes in and says, you know, I can't believe how gray I am. Um, you know, I feel like I, I come in, get it retouched and a week later I can see gray hair type of thing. You're then providing a solution for them. That's your next post. So if you can consciously maybe make notes throughout the day and say, gray haired client needs new, new option instead of just retouch, maybe now it's retouch and highlights. And of course, all of this is designed to be able to help you build your dollar ticket, build your revenue a little bit more, but create new solutions for client problems because you're already the expert you're doing it you just need to recall it so that you can transfer it into a social media post so what's your thoughts what do you think now i know this is not a one-size-fits-all because you're a customized high-end coach like i am what do you think the the best platform today for let's say mid-level like you know maybe 400k up salons to be sharing their content on where do you, what do you think is still the most powerful search place search platform for those brands um i know that everybody probably wants to say instagram but i'm gonna argue that it probably still is facebook 
And, and not to say that you shouldn't be on Instagram and you shouldn't be duplicating or creating a similar, you know, post and, and imagery for that in there. But if you understand who your client avatar is, I'm, you know, I'm at the age that Instagram is not my go-to place. I'm also, Instagram is not where my ideal clients are either most of the time. Right. Now, I understand we're in kind of this flux with social media right now. Mm -hmm. And everybody's like, well, I don't want to be on Facebook anymore. Facebook sucks, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. A year ago, Facebook was so dense with content, you got lost in it. Right. Today, it's not quite as dense. Right. So if you do it right, even organically mm -hmm. and paid, if you do an option of some organic and some paid, you actually can be noticed a little bit more because it's not as dense as it was a year ago because people are kind of bored with it. But I know that's where my clients are. I know that's where that ideal client that might be between 40 and 50 that has the money to spend with you in a salon is hanging out at as well. Right. Well, and that, and that's the truth. So for, for anyone listening, remember this, everything has to be customized. Your brand has to be customized. This is Bonnie's expertise. Um, you know, if you'd like to connect with her, we're going to drop everything down in the description. Make sure you reach out. Uh, Bonnie, do you offer a complimentary call? Do you do a five minute coffee chat just to, what, 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 what yeah, do you do? Yeah, I do a, I do a brand me discovery session. And what nice. we look at is, is uncovering that number one, you know, problem that you're facing right now and how digital marketing or some form of marketing can help you get through it. It's not about doing 500 things. It's not about a new website and getting on five social media. It's one area. If you focus on one area and stay true to it, you can actually start to build your business. And salons that are doing good business, like some of our, probably some of our clients, Maria, yep. they're doing multiple things simultaneously. Yes. They're recruiting, they're finding, you know, they're doing client yep. acquisitions, and they're also doing brand awareness campaigns. They're doing all three of them simultaneously because they understand that's what that's the eye of the potential consumer or client is looking for. And, and this is super important. Um, it's your strategy. You need mm -hmm. to have a roadmap and then you need to implement. Without a strategy, you're just doing all the things. And this is who I see really suffering right now. Because anyone who had a strategy, they even really got through the shutdowns really well because they had a lot of my clients, we already had in place automated mm -hmm. online stores, yes. other streams of income. They're now creating, you know, consulting services as a, you know, another branch of business. So there's so many ways to grow and scale your business if you choose to. So I just want to say, what, what's the one thing you want to share with everyone, the last takeaway that they should just go do today and make their business start, snap out of it right now. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop whining. What can they do today, Bonnie, when they get off this call right now? I'm going to go, I'm going to go with what you just said source that problem and put a strategy to that one problem. Stop listening to everything that you need to do. Focus in on one thing that you think you need to learn or that you can apply immediately and be consistent with it enough that it starts to take notice. I mean, this is, this, this is tried and true and this is not new, whether it's traditional advertising or today's new digital advertising. Put a strategy together to solve one problem you might be dealing with right now. Yes, that is great advice. And on a closing note, I will remind everyone, both Bonnie and I are in the industry well over 30 years. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe since we're both 25. Yes, but exactly. We are adamant about telling you if you don't know how to do something, if you're not sure, if you feel unsupported, surround yourself with like-minded people and get help. Get a mentor who's a few steps ahead of you. This is the secret sauce, guys, to success, to seven figures, eight figures, whatever it is that looks like to you. Well, Bonnie, I want to thank you so, so much for being with me today and for sharing your amazing knowledge with our audience. Um, everything will be down below in description. Please reach out to Bonnie if there's anything she could do to support you in your branding and marketing mission. Thank you so much, Bon. Thank you, Maria. Appreciate being here. Oh, you're welcome. Take care.